All right, I'm going to show you my Kimura today. I'm in front of my opponent. He's going to come and grab my pant leg to control my leg. Right, he obviously wants to pass my guard. Uh, so when he goes for this arm, I know most people just like to take this hand off or do this uh, and go into something else. But I like to set up my sneaky little Kimura. Right? It's a little bit different. So he grabs his pant leg. I don't go for the wrist. Okay. I use my thumb and stick it into the webbing of his uh, hand here, and then I wrap the whole palm, okay? From this position, I go advance, and I go over the arm, and I grab my own lapel, okay? I don't grab my own wrist. So now I have two points of control. I'm controlling his hand, and I'm controlling his shoulder here, right? So from this position, I'm gonna try to take the hand off, right? I'm gonna reach, uh, take the hand right, right off my pant leg, and now I'm gonna adjust. Scoop my hip out, and then I'm gonna transition into the Kimura position, right? A lot of the times from here, he thinks, oh, I'm not in danger, I'm just gonna grab my belt, which is okay. You see how he grabs his belt here, right? Usually, if I was grabbing the, the wrist, it's gonna be very difficult to take that hand off, but because of the way my hand is positioned, it's very easy to take this hand off, okay? And once the hand comes off, kick the leg over, I transition, wrist, wrist, scoop my hips, and now I'm in strong finishing position. Pant leg, grab the hand. Okay, I go over, grab my own lapel. All right, I take this hand off by using both my arms together out to the side. Okay, notice this grip. I'm using my hand to grab the palm. I scoop my hips out. If he connects his wrist to his body, that's okay. Because of the way my hand is positioned, comes right off, hold on a little bit tighter. All right, he's holding on to that belt. <clears throat> ah. Take the leg over, wrist, wrist, finish the arm.